What's going on guys? So today on this Shoki Unboxes, we're going to take a look at something that you guys have been basically begging me to get after. And of course, I've been waiting mostly patiently to get after. And it is the new Grimoire Red Beret from Build Divers. And it is Rommel's mobile suit. Now, we've only seen this thing in action one time, and that was during the prologue. But it was actually really, really cool. And at least from the reviews I've seen so far, it's actually a pretty tight little kit so let's go ahead and get him out of the box here and check it out now while i was not a very big g reco fan i never got around to building a grimoire in the first place so for me this is my first grimoire and unlike a lot of other people who snagged it online uh i missed it by a single day when i placed my order for all my build divers kits so i ended up getting lucky and i found it at the think geek store and then found out literally an hour later that they had it at Hobby Town. But it is what it is. Okay, we have the Red Ray version right there. It says RB. Uh, you've got the really ridiculous backpack that does house things. You've got his cool weapons there, or weapon. I think it's just one big gun, or maybe it combines into from smaller guns. I don't know yet. I haven't built it. Uh, definitely have some parts and such and things. I don't even know what any of it really is. But I like that his backpack is very reminiscent of a ground-type Gundam backpack. Wow, this thing is hefty. Um, I have a feeling this is just Grimoire. It doesn't have the RB. So you've got the very nicely stylized uh, parts here from good old g Reco. You've got legs. You've got a foot. You have what I don't know what that is. To be totally honest, it could be the back of a leg. Uh, it looks like there's only one, so could be wrong. That's definitely going to be around the neck area, the collar. Same thing there. Uh, these are either top of the arms. I don't know. That's a shield for sure. That's a butt skirt for sure. That looks like a thigh. I don't know. Uh, the green definitely is giving me flashbacks of the IBO um, Gusion, the first one. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. I, I missed this. Give me a second. We've got foil sheets, so we got different stickers. So uh, because he does have three different heads or mini mores, as I've seen, you get visors for each. So this is definitely going to go behind the triple eye setup. And then you've got this here for a reticle. You've got the uh, three white stars that will probably go somewhere specifically on here because he's very like American Army situation. Uh, and then you've got this band right here that goes across the collar. So, I look forward to that. I, I, I like the fact that he comes with mini mores or separate heads. And I feel like those are going to come into play later. Hopefully we ever get to see him battle again. Hopefully it's not just the one-time battle. I don't know if I said it, but Big's on the floor. You've got Red Runner here. So, you've got shoulder pieces there for sure. So, it looks like he only uses one. But I'm assuming you could, could use both. Here's his main head piece or his red mini more. And... The knife, which is going to require some silver paint, but the molding does look good. We've got a very tiny, basic polycap runner. We've got high-grade red beret. Not entirely certain what they are. To be totally honest, I have no clue. Uh, I think these might be the new feet. Yeah, it looks like because he's got wheels, and I know this is part of that extending leg arm, subarm. Okay, so that's what that was. A little confusing, but that's what it do. Okay, so here we have a mess. All right, so here's the clear bubble eyes for each of the heads. Cool thing that they give you all three. I like that. Um, I'm guessing the stickers will go behind them for the most part to have that that kind of look. I may or may not paint. I know my, my new favorite is gold. Would look really good, but I don't believe my pink or, or my metallic pink or metallic red or my metallic green are going to look anywhere near as good as just a clean sticker placement. So I'm going to go for that. Uh, this is a repeat of the other thing. I don't know off the top of my head what any of these pieces do. They're just part of the weapons. you got some thrusters, stuff like that. Okay, so we've got the green, green-headed mini more part here. you got the rest of that leg part. Uh, that's definitely armor for something. Don't know what. That must be a shoulder or a kneecap. I don't know entirely what any of this is. I've never built this kit. So, I like it when it's a kit I've never seen or never built. Because then it's, like, totally new to me. And that's, that's fun. So I get to learn. I get to experience. 
firsthand as some of this is. It's not repeating some of the stuff we've already done, you know. All right, so we've got kind of a minty color here. I've seen this in a lot of things. So we've got crotch, the center section for the body because it does pivot on a center point. This looks like a foot chunk, if I had to guess. This looks like wrists, uh, joint covers, the hands for sure. I like that. And we get another one of these runners with the feet and whatever that is and some hips and or shoulder armor. Probably hips if I had to guess because I don't know. And last one. That's quite a lot in this kit. That's why it's a little bit more expensive than the rest. Got way more plastic. Tripling, tripling down on some parts. Okay, so we've got the arms and the joint covers and then a foot. And then the blue head. Nice navy blue. I wish it was more that blue. That, that's a lot shinier than this. This is a bit deeper. But, hey, I'll still build it. Oh, that's what some of the gray parts are. They're like the feet for these guys. Okay. Now I get it. Okay. And there's the basic ins assembly instructions in there. But there's your read-up on Rommel. Just real quick. Tells you about force battles. That's pretty cool. Got your model number discussions right there. Yeah, I mean, that, that's how their mini mores fold up and fit in the backpack. That's pretty cool. That's how the sub, the sub feet, sub legs, I guess, work. I assume uh, I've, we've only really built one G Reco kit between me and the the wife, and it was not a difficult kit by any means. This one looks like it has quite a lot going on. And I'm definitely not opposed to that by any means. It looks pretty cool. There's your base regular gr grimoire. Which was a really neat looking kit. Let's just be honest here. I don't know if it was a good one. I know that there were certain reviewers that really, really dug it. Oh, and I was right. Those were the knee, knee bits. So that's a knee that you probably can't ever see and probably don't even use. Oh, but those were the crotch skirts. Interesting. Okay. I don't know why he comes with two red shoulder armors and you don't use them. And then down here you get the expansion, or at least for the tilt rotor, which I have on pre-order. So that's definitely made for him for sure. And I guess you get some extra weapon kits in there. But all right, so that's going to be it for this unboxing. That's everything that's in there. I like it. I like it a lot. And I've seen that this is pretty much most people's favorites so far. I have a feeling I'm going to be like-minded in that aspect, but we shall see. It may or may not be a pain in my butt with all this green, but I'm excited. It's a new kit that I've never built. Gym 3 is technically a new kit, but I've built gyms before, so that's not entirely new. And I want to thank my patrons, as always. So you've got John, Andy, Steve, Colby, and the Krosama. If you want to become a patroneer today and come and help support the channel, right here on the screen, I kind of have a lofty goal of getting about $200 a month out of the Patreon. That will really help us out around here. Not to mention I wouldn't have to um, rely entirely on YouTube to pay me. And honestly, the, with the way things have gone on YouTube, the money is very difficult to make without having way more subscribers than I do now, even though we're growing every day again, now that my life is getting a little bit back to normal, and I can start back on my reviews. But guys, of course, thanks for watching here, and if you want to uh, grab a Shoki shirt, which also helps to go to the channel plus, you can be part of the, the Shoki Nation or whatever, I don't really have a name for us yet, but right here on the screen, go check those out, and those also help. In, you know, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this unboxing. Come back for the actual review, and I'll see you guys then. Remember, as always, to keep on building.